Hello students. Today I will tell you about the hybridization process. Hybridization is a technique by which you can detect a specific segment of the DNA. In this technique, this is there are different types of the hybridization techniques. In which some is the in situ hybridization techniques, some is the fluorescent in situ hybridization techniques, and so on. And few techniques are known as FIS, FISH, and few techniques are known as GISH, and so on. Here you will talk about that. Uh, the in, in case of the in situ hybridization, I am taking one example of this hybridization process that is the fluorescence in situ hybridization. Here, what will you see here? In case of the fluorescent in situ hybridization, this is a segment of the, the gene. What is gene? Gene is a segment of DNA. From the, to these segments, you cut to these gene segments, you can treat to this segment of the DNA by an enzyme that is DNH. Ultimately, what will be happening? The DNH cut to this single strand to cut to this single strand of this DNA into the diff at their specific sites. Then what you will do, then you will use some probe. What is probe? Probe is a specific sequence of DNA. Suppose that here is the you are using some dye also. Sometimes the people are using radioactive isotopes such as the phosphorus, sulfur, the sulfur, phosphorus, sulfur, and nitrogen isotopes. But here is the dig. Dig is used. Dig and biotin, so on, we choose. Here is the dig UTP. Dig UTP. This is a uh, riboprobe. Here, here you will see the uracil. Uracil TP, UTP, and the biotin UDP. You use the DIG either biotin or U. Then you will see here this probe is bind to this specific sequence, which is cut by this one. This probe is bind to this specific sequence. This is one hand. This this is and then you denature to this sequence. Then you denature to this because here is the probe. The probe is bind to this one. The nick is translated by this one. Then you will see here that under the denaturation process at approximately 75 degree centigrade temperature, the single strand will become separate. Then you will see here this is a cell, and because maybe it is a tissue sample, maybe it is the cells. You can see here the same cells in the, through the histological techniques. You can do to denature to the cells and uh, with a uh, fixative agent that is a formaldehyde. For, formamide here is that at 42 degree centigrade. Here you will see here that. The both sequences are separated to each other. Then, what your job is to hybridize to cell, to hybridize to the cells under the hybridization chambers. You will see here that this, this single stranded sequence will bind with probe, bind to this sequence, bind to this sequence. Now, you will you will see here that then you are using some antibodies. These are the antibodies. These antibodies are against to these dig proteins, dig or biotin proteins or abidin. They are and they are bound with a fluorescent. They are bound with a fluorescent. Whenever these anti secondary antibodies bind to this bind to this probe, bind to this probe, they fluoresce. They fluoresce under the epifluorescence microscopy. Under the epifluorescence microscopy, you can detect the specific location of this gene. You can detect the specific location of uh, location of that gene in all the chromosomes. This is a fluorescence in situ hybridization technique. Now you will see here that uh, this is a technique. For that technique, what you need? You need a specific set of the uh, solutions. You need a specific set of the solutions, such as you need some protease solutions. You need 1% formaldehyde solution. You need 20x uh, 20x SSC solutions. That uh, you, it is a composition of this sequence. Then you can make the 2x 2x and 0.4 SSX of to these was solutions. Then uh, what will we, you need? You need uh, you need the the form you need uh, you make the form formalin formalin and magnesium chloride and 40% formalin and you need some phosphate buffer phosphate buffer as the MDQ triple distilled water then you can make this one. So for the procedure process at first what you will do you will prepare the slides you will prepare the slides and fix to that slides you will prepare to the slides. Then you should go to the pretreatment procedure. Then you should go to the pretreatment procedure. Then the probe and slide preparation also you can make. Then the coordination step, both the slides as well as the as well as the specific sequence. Then the hybridization step. The hybridization step you should just follow the hybridization step. Then post hybridization step. And after the staining, 
you can store to that you after the staining and you can interpret to this one then you can store to that at minus 20 degrees centigrade in the dark then then again uh, at the last you can you can see to that slide under the microscope by that process you can detect to get a specific sequence a specific sequence whatever uh, uh, whatever you you want and whatever uh, the probe you have designed designed for a specific sequence of the genes uh, if if you have any questions regarding to this process so you can post to these all these questions in the discussion forums i will provide all the answers in the discussion forums thank you